If you take the experienced worker assessment, you'll need to pass the AM2E test before you can complete the whole assessment process. What's the AM2E? It's an in-depth assessment where you have to carry out specific tasks to demonstrate your electrical competence. The whole test is broken down into different sections, such as installation, fault finding, safe isolation, and inspection and testing. Strict exam conditions are in place during the assessment, so this means no electronic devices or getting help from anyone else. You'll be monitored by an assessor who will be marking your work as the day progresses. You won't be able to take your AM2E until you've achieved the experienced worker qualification. After this, you can use our self-assessment checklist to work through everything you need to do. Use it to make sure you're comfortable with all areas of the test so you're fully prepared before you attend. Once you pass the AM2E, you've completed the Experienced Worker Assessment. The Experienced Worker Qualification plus the AM2E is accepted for an ECS Gold Card application and is recognised by the Electrotechnical Assessment Specification as equivalent to an industry apprenticeship. The NET website gives you much more information on the AM2E and each section in detail, how to best prepare and what happens during the assessment. Visit www.netservices.org.uk slash AM2E to find out more.